Welcome. In this lesson, we're going to learn two new triangle congruency theorems. In the last lesson, we learned side, 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 where if we had two triangles where we had all three corresponding sides being equal in length, then the two triangles were congruent. We also had side, angle, side, where we had, if we had two sides of a triangle and the angle that is formed by the two sides congruent to the other two sides of a triangle and the angle in between, they were congruent. In this one, we're going to do angle side angle and angle angle side. So it's important that you go in the right order. What I mean by that is we need to have two angles and the side that is in between the two angles. So I have this angle here, I have this angle here, and I have a side that goes in between the two angles. So I come over here and I look to see and find the one that it corresponds to. Now remember, this one had a double tick. If I notice over here, these only have single ticks. So obviously this one here is going to be congruent to this one here because of angle, side, angle. Angle, side, angle, in that order. And then remember that you always type the letters in the same order, or correspondingly, meaning if I do the E, D, C in the first triangle, E, D, C, I got to make sure I do the right letter that corresponds to E, which was the Y over here. So in the second one, I'm going to start with Y, and then I went to D, which is the one above, or isn't marked, so I'm going to go to the one that's not marked, which is X, and then obviously the last one is W. Okay, and we also have angle, angle, side. Now again, it's very important that you go in that order, meaning you have to have an angle, then the very next angle, and then a side. Now we got to find one that corresponds to that. I need a double angle, a double angle. Here's a double angle. Then the next angle is a single arc angle, and then a side. So we have angle, angle, side, angle, angle, side. Now this is also angle, angle, side, but remember that two tick marks doesn't match up with a single tick mark, meaning it's a different length than the single tick mark. So it's this triangle and this triangle because it has the same markings. And again, as always, write your corresponding letters in the same order. So since I did A, which is a non-marked angle, I'm going to do H, which is the non-marked angle. And I did the double arc angle. I'm going to do the double arc angle, not the J, but the I. Very important you go in the right order. And that's all there is to this lesson. And it won't get any harder. If you notice, I can't even jump ahead. So if you have any questions, please do bring them to class. Just remember to follow the order that it gives you. If it's looking for an angle, and then the next side along it, and then an angle. And then you just got to find the two tick mark, the double tick mark, which, oh, no, this is a single tick mark. Seems like they're always doing the single tick mark. So it'll be these two. Again, if you have questions, please bring them to class.